do you know in america 62% of the human beings in america cannot and do not go to conventional medical centers in england where there is medicine is free 57% do not want to go to the modern medical hospital french government because of the top heavy expenditure started a chinese medical hospital in paris and their cost of ma the managing diseases in the modern medical hospital came down by 25% we in india which is the mother of all these systems we don't bother about it an audit shows now we don't come to the the organ based diseases come to diseases as such i have classified diseases like emergency diseases for which modern medicine technology and what satish chandra said all this is needed but they are only 5% of the population then another 20% of the population doctor thinks you have a disease syndrome this is called disease mongering pre diabetes pre hypertension pre that obesity this and that and things like that then another 20% patient thinks he has a disease that's called hypochondriasis then the large chunk of it is minor illness syndromes simple things you know you think minor illness syndrome is small economic value of minor illness syndrome is during winter 50 million people in europe do not go for work every day because of the common cold and feverish cold the common illness syndromes are common cold feverish cold sore throat and flu like illness these take millions an audit in canada showed when a doctor sees one heart attack in society he will have seen 36000 minor illness syndromes but we don't teach that in the mbbs course now any mbbs student i'll take a challenge tell me the difference between common cold and feverish cold sore throat and uh, flu like illness nobody knows what you tell the difference between you know one minute molecule inside the something he will say he'll rattle it off because that's all what we teach and then we say our students can't go to the village and they must be forced to go to the village how can he go to the village because what he sees his teacher doing is patient comes and says i have got a headache he says first cat scan then mri so the student sees what the teacher does he doesn't learn what the teacher preaches he sees what the teacher does he goes he is a very conscientious student doctor he goes to the village sits there patient comes and says some headache hai. oh my god no cat scan here i may be missing their 0.1% which is cause no starts as headache which is cancer in the brain so i may be doing injustice so if he is a conscientious fellow he will commit suicide if he is otherwise he will run away or he will influence the politician to get a md seat in some of the institutions and never go to the village now why blame them don't blame them now we have to correct our house first before we show our finger at others and this can be only done if you take an audit i want all of you to go home and say this is the paper i have written is it worth the paper on which i have written or i have written it because i have to have a paper i have to go for a conference today everything is connected with money you have a paper it is accepted by uh, the by kuti and uh, uh, raju and then you get all your tada from your institution you come here and some of you are i am happy that many of you are here because i went to inaugurate the ophthalmology conference in jaipur about a month ago i asked the organizers how many people have registered 5000 and how many were in the audience when i gave the inaugural address 250 where were the others they were in udaipur they were in kota they were in jaisalmer and they had come where you know pharmacology pharmacists pharmaceutical companies have given them the money so they have got their families they want to show them rajasthan this is conference eh? now this all must be we must we must be honest for a change let's audit what we do and a risk study has shown very nice study showed role of listening to the patient examining him on the bedside investigating him including positron animation tomography this was done in london it's a triple blind study prospective study computerized study done by five leaders in the field of medicine in that branch because their teacher in 1949 lord plot wrote i quote if you listen to your patient long enough he slash she will tell you what is wrong with him and this study is published in the british medical journal role of history taking physical examination and investigations in diagnosis and showed 80% of the accurate final diagnosis 80% of the accurate final diagnosis and 100% of what to do with the patient can be arrived at at the end of listening to the patient and examining him this can be done even in the remote village in india but do we teach that to our students no how many of our teachers know the existence of this study and it showed it can only be refined four more percent by all investigations remaining 12 percent of the diagnosis can be done on the post mortem table but we still hang on to the places 
It's very nice. We must have places of excellence like this. Because without which, one percent of those people who have trouble, they can't go nowhere. So I don't want them to go to America. Because in the olden days, I remember, from our village, even for hydro sale, they had to go to Madras. But today, you can do sophisticated cardiac surgery in Mangalore. Neurosurgery in Mangalore. All this is developed. I am very happy about it. But we are ignoring the 90% of the suffering humanity who suffer just like that 1% who need highest care. So let us have this balance and let us audit our research. Our research is in a very poor shape. People say it's because we don't have money. The true researchers in the old days never took money. You think Einstein took money to write uh, the, his papers he wrote? Werner Heisenberg asked for a grant to write what he wrote? They change. They change the whole uh, the scientific field. Now come to the last point. What is science? This is a very interesting question. You want to know what science is? Want to know that? No. I'll give you two books. This is one book called Against Method. Write down. This book I want you all to read because you do research. Against Method. That girl is writing that red thing next to Kuti. Against Method is a book. Huh? And the author's name is Paul, P-A-U-L, Paul, Feyerabend, F-E-Y-E-R-B-E-N-D, Professor of Science Philosophy in the London School of Economics, and Paul is a physicist, almost a Nobel laureate physicist. And if you read this book, he'll tell you, the science is the Western view to control the colonies by selling them certain ideas which are not in truth. Did you understand that? This is exactly true. And what has science got us? What is the result? Weapons of mass destruction. Hiroshima, Nagasaki. Inter-ballistic missiles. Chernobyl, Fukushima. And for hopefully not, very God, Kudam Kulam and another Kulam and another third Kulam. This is science. So he says science is the one that is trying to sell the Western ideas to the East because they want to make money. There is another beautiful book. Smaller book, written by two physicists, Trevor Pinch and Steve Harris. Trevor Pinch, Steve Harris. The book's name is The Golem. You know what Golem is? The Golem. You know Golem? It's a Jewish word, not an English word. Golem is, in Bengaluru, there is a building that is called Belchapa. Drishti, Drishti. That Belchapa, what does it do? It frightens you, so you, you can't put your... Uh, Drishti on that building and building should not collapse. So, this is a golem to frighten people. Science is a golem to frighten people. So, don't just think science is the be all and end all of life. Do you know what Paul Feyerabend says? Science is the cause of humanity losing now the moral fiber. I'll ask you a question. Scientifically, rape is not a crime at all. It is biological. You have your testosterone and uh, she has the the thing to satisfy your testosterone, you do that. It's not rape. How can you prove that scientifically rape is bad? There is nothing called bad. You Don't you see a dog in heat? It just catches hold of any other female dog. Just like that, this fellow is in heat. So see, this is what is called. So we must have balance. Morality is very important. Science has to go with humanity. That's why I say every scientist must have training in human qualities, in humanness, in humaneness. It is not the science that is bad, it is the scientist behind the science that is bad. You are now talking of now, uh, now talk, uh, let's talk about a neurological, psychological disease, ADHD. All of you know, Nimhans, everybody knows ADHD, and you know Ritalin. The man who invented ADHD, who was the president of the American Nomenclature Committee, was dying recently. His name is Leon Eisenberg. And he called the press from his bed, deathbed and said, please tell the world that I invented this disease for the company to sell the Italian drug. There is no drug disease called ADHD. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? And investigation showed that company which is selling Italian maintained this man all his life, millions of dollars, his car, his house, himself, everything was maintained by the company. And this is called disease mongering. You invent a disease to sell a drug. How many millions of kids must have had that retaliate? Child doesn't do well in school? ADHD. It questions the teacher? ADHD. It talks back to the parent? ADHD. Today, 
a child has something to sleep, one medicine, something to go to the college, another medicine, and then get up in the morning, third medicine, and all these medicines have come from Nujol. You know what is Nujol? New oil. And what is that? Byproduct of rocket fuel extraction. And here is a psychiatrist, professor psychiatrist in America. She has written this book. Her name is Grace Elizabeth Jackson. What is the book? Dementia, a drug-induced crime on mankind by doctors. Can you believe that? Of course, she was dismissed as a professor. She lost her job. But she, this book now is maintaining her. She got millions of copies sold. And Grace is a very young, enthusiastic psychiatrist. So friends, the world is not what we think. That is why Shankara said, world is Maya. Maya. And Shankara's present avatar in quantum physics calls world as Werklichkeit. Werklichkeit in German means drama. Maya is a drama. And what you see is not the world, but the world is something different. Friends, let us now, I will bring you back to the ground. Both sides of the coin. What all you have been doing is what we all do. But future is for doing something out of the way. Because knowledge does not advance by repeating known things. Refuting false dogmas. And Bernard Shaw said, I have no respect for scientists. Especially the arrogant from the leading countries. Because they are all doing something which harms society.